hello and welcome to Light Waves by Dotterbert. If you enjoy reviews of flashlights, rechargeable lanterns, and other portable light sources, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most awesome videos. In front of us are the Claris WL3. This is a high capacity camping and work light. You can find these selling for $59.99 at clarislightstore.com. Uh, there may or may not be a 10% off coupon for you if you're a first time shopper there. Uh, they also have free shipping on this item. So you get the price down to a decent uh, around $55 free shipping. It's pretty cool. We're going to go over it. Um, you can get it in green or khaki colored, which is kind of nice. So let's check out the box. Simple brown box. Nothing too special. we got some bullet points on the side. Just going to go over those real quick. Freeze frame if you need to see any of that. Let's see here. we got some parameters. Nice. we got turbo high, medium, low, red. This thing does four different color temperatures as well. F5 if you include red. <laughs> it's pretty neat though. It's uh, waterproof IPX5. That's nice. Uh, cool. Here we go. Illustration on the back here and their contact information. So I took everything out of the box. Let's see what we get in there. So star of the show, the WL3. Sweet. Yeah, looks interesting, right? But uh, it, it's powerful. I got some pictures uh, in the garage uh, in the lantern mode or overhead mode. It's really neat. It's uh, just a fun light with a lot of options. So let's uh, start showing some other things that came with it. We got a USB to type C charging cable. Nice heavy duty one too, by the way, not flimsy. I like that. We get a carry bag for it with their name, Claris. Nice. And of course, we get the wonderful instruction manual, which I always go over in detail for posterity in case you lose yours or you can't find a PDF online. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, WL3. There's two languages. It's kind of weird. It starts out over here in English. Uh, there's illustration there. It does say, thank you for choosing our company's product. Okay, so there's some illustration and some functions they're kind of going over that specifications kind of zoom in there a little bit for you in case i missed something but uh, there's some pretty cool stuff i'm sure you're like whoa look at that yep we're gonna go over some of those items and in the back here again what you saw in the box for specifications again i'll try to remember to talk about that cool thing is it's a power bank as well you know this thing's 13,500 milliamp hour capacity it's pretty Pretty awesome. So uh, you could charge two things at once. Uh, just amazing. It's not just a light source, but also a power source. So here you go. How to select the different light modes and color modes. And of course, there's a red light option, which is great. Uh, you can run it together or independent. So that's it. It's very easy to operate. Boom. Done with this. So let's go ahead and set that aside. And let's check out the WL3. Let's put these somewhere. There we go. All right, we're going to zoom on down here. Go over dimensions. Uh, in the uh, stowed position, or standard position, I guess you'd call it, uh, dimensions we have are 3 and 3 quarter inches in width, or 95 millimeters. We have a height of 4 and a quarter inches, or 108 millimeters. We have a front to back depth of 2 inches, or 50 millimeters. Uh, a weight of 481 grams. So it's just rather... Uh, heavy and it's uh, built like a tank. Thing's awesome. Uh, a little size comparison. Um, I featured this little camping light, work light, a while back. I think it was a gear test, something or other. Um, this one here, uh, I don't remember the price of it exactly, but uh, runs on two 18650s while this runs on three 21700s. Quite the difference in capacity. I think this is like 5200 milliamp hours versus 13,500. This is going to get you longer run times. Uh, but this has a lot of modes too as well. Um, it has some cool things in the back here. I'll just flip this one over and show you. Uh, kind of a similar layout. You can pick the color temperature. Uh, but there you go. Give you an idea for size comparison. If you have one of these gear test lights. A few of you bought these and uh, may still have it. Um, I charged mine up. Mine was dead when I took it out of the box. Um, I hadn't run it in a while. So always good to charge them every four months or so. But there you go. Cool. And then I think I have like a standard battery here, 21700. Like I said, there's three of those in there. So they have a nice little battery pack. And I like the idea that they're using cylindrical cells for the power source for this light. And then, of course, a deck of cards in case you don't have those items. Here we go. Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He loves Claris lanterns in each hand. Firing away his lantern man. I don't know. It's making stuff up. But you get the idea for a standard deck. 
of cards. Sweet. All right. Score features of the WL3. It, right away, when you pick this up, you're like, wow, that's quality. It really is. Um, you got this uh, ABS plastics, which is really durable. It can handle a one meter drop. Uh, everything's tightened, you know, tight fit finish. Like this plug for the charging ports is uh, really strong for water resistance for the IPX5. So it can handle rainfall. It's amazing. And on the front, it has this, uh, what material would you call it? It's like a rubber type coating, uh, TFE, I believe, if I got that right. Uh, it's kind of cool. Uh, I like that. It has a textured uh, on the ABS. It's got this heavy granite-like texture. I like that, like a stone. Nice. <laughs> I like that a lot. So on the front here, we have our two lights. Um, the main one right here is our, uh, what they call cob lighting chip on board, as you can see in there. Um, it utilizes two different color temperature, and then it blends them with different intensities uh, to give you four color choices. And we'll go through those on the back here. It has a menu, which is nice. And you can cycle through them. Um, it has 2700, 3500, 4500, and 6500 Kelvin color temperature choices. Uh, not bad. And then, of course, it has a glow-in-the-dark ring. Uh, after you've been using it and turn it off, uh, it's kind of nice. You can find the lantern if it's sitting somewhere. Over here, our secondary light. It's red when it lights up, and I'll show you that. It's got its own dedicated button. Both can be lit at the same time. The only thing I think you'd like that for is if you're working on something on the car, out on the road, and you need the main light, but you want a little warning light, this can flash independently of this, which is nice. So you got a red flasher as well as a standard steady red light there. And I did take pictures of that in action as well, which you'll get to see. Um, and it's rated... Uh, uh, 625 nanometers if you're wondering the color temperature of that secondary. So there you go. You got this really cool swivel base, 180 degrees. Locks nice and tight. You can hear it clicking away. And the back side here is two strong rare earth magnets. Yeah, they're strong as heck. <laughs> I mean, look, I'm going to, whoops. <laughs> thought I could hold it with the battery, but let me see if I can. Yes, I can. Holding it with the battery. <laughs> yeah, I guess I got to put it on the right way. But yeah, it's a strong magnet. Um... I used it. I stuck it right to my garage door opener and took some pictures. Yeah, you like that. Tripod mount, carabiner mount there, so you can hook it to things. Nice. Not bad at all. Uh, and again, like I said, it's 180 um, all the way around. Covers your jacks there, but we don't want to cover the jack. All right, cool. So yeah, nice. Liking that right away. Of course, it stands up beautifully, and of course, you can angle it to whatever you need to work on. Uh, or overhead lighting, like I like to do it like this. Uh, so you have above uh, like if you're in your tent it's the best way all right so going down here okay top of the lantern we have the charging ports go ahead and open that back up you'll see there's two of them you have a type c input the type c input uh takes a charge of five volts at three amps uh, for six hour charge time or it'll go to uh 18 watts uh nine volts or two amps in for five and a half hour charge so if you have an 18 watt charger uh suggest you use it with the cable It'll charge it a little quicker for you. That's not bad at all. Um, it has an output on here too. It's uh, 5 volts at 3 amps, 9 volts at 2 amps, or 12 volts at 1 amp. So you can um, charge devices while you're running this. It's uh, absolutely amazing uh, what this device can do. Um, and over here we have a standard USB output that also charges um, devices. So you could have two devices at once charging with this lantern. Uh, fantastic. Uh, so this guy here is the same as this one as far as output goes. This is your input-output, and that's your standard output. So you have 5 volts, 3 amps, 9 volts, 2 amps, and 12 volts, 1 amp on the standard USB output jack. Nice. So, of course, you got this waterproof jacket. Um, yeah, so this is going to be a little involved because it's got a lot of cool features. On the back here, it looks like it has a little shelf, kind of help for the rain if it's raining. And you got these, like, sealed switches here. They're kind of flush-mounted, uh, almost like membrane-style, but they're a little clicky. As you can hear that. Uh, so I think they'll hold up nicely. So turn it on, you double click. There we go. We had a warm temperature. We're running at 2700. Now, if you look here, it's got the lights. You got four green for your status, 25% on each one. Very accurate. Here's our uh, mode. We're in low, you got medium, uh, high, and turbo. And over here, we have our color temperatures. And if I can just show you there, you can see it's lit up in blue. Uh, you got 2700, 3500, 4500, and 65. So to cycle those, you just hit this right button, and you'll see a changing color on my desktop there. Of course, picking up all it does with this light, pretty strong light. <laughs> Intensities, cycles, and then it goes off on the last one. 
Now, it does have a mode memory uh, for color. It remembers it automatically. For uh, luminosity, um, you have to be running it, say, at 300 or 750 for a while. Uh, and then, with, like, say, about two minutes, two or three minutes. That's what I noticed. And then when I went to turn, turn it, I was waiting to cycle it. I hit the button, it just turned off. And when I turned it back on, it came right back to that setting. So that's nice. Um, you have that as well. Uh, so yeah, you have those color choices, which we'll show you in a moment. We'll do a quick demo. And down here we have our little red light. So this is, uh, oh, same here, double click. Um, turns it on. Uh, they don't give a rating on it. I believe it's like a 10 lumen rating. Probably about 10, but it's nice. Got its little uh, diffuser lens on there. These are like a plastic type acrylic lenses on there, if you're wondering. Definitely not glass, so that's good. Durability sake. And of course, you can hit this again for flashing mode. That's what I'd be using it for if I was running the main. So if I turn on the main, you can still get the you get the main and you get the blinker going there. So yeah, if you're in a situation where you're working on the car and people can see you, uh, it's good to have that flashing and that there if you're on the roadside. So we'll go ahead and cycle this off to turn it off and then click that again to turn the red light off. So there it is, boom, done with that. Um, as you look here, it says rated power 13.8 watts. That's the output of the light. Um, the power bank feature goes uh, 18 watts output. So you could be running, yeah, both if you want. Um, pretty amazing, actually. I think you can do that. So we are actually going to demo that when we come back. So let's go ahead, go to the garage where I took pictures of this in action. We'll demo the uh, power bank feature, um, and then we'll uh, do some uh, lighting on the desk and see what it looks like color temperature wise the lights off. All right, let's head to the garage. Okay, so I hooked it on top of my garage door opener with the magnet base, pretty strong stuff. And I'm in the corner of the garage facing towards the center. Uh, this is on turbo. This is 1500 lumens. Expect a runtime of five and a half hours and a throw distance of 47 meters. So this will also throw, which is nice. Now we're on high. This is 750 lumens. Expect a runtime of eight hours and a throw of 33 meters. Now we're getting more usable modes. Medium, this is 300 lumens. Expect a runtime of 21 hours and a throw of 21 meters. Another usable mode, the last mode here is low. This is 120 lumens. Expect a runtime of 50 hours and a throw of 13 meters. I chose to use the 4500 Kelvin color temperature for these pictures. Now we're in the red mode. Uh, like I said, it's approximately like 10 to 15 lumens. I'm, this is an estimate. And it has a runtime of 158 hours on this mode. In our last picture, the wheel working on the car. So I put it on the floor of the garage and aimed it at the wheel, about four feet away. And it's at 120 lumens using the 4500 uh, Kelvin color temperature. So you can do quite a bit at 120 lumens uh, for 50 hours, definitely. All right, let's go back to the bench. All right, here we are. So, uh, demo time. We can uh, see. I got a uh, flashlight here. Yeah, you know, one thing I did not try was um, if it would let me. I know it does two devices at once. But if it let me turn the light on while I'm charging, it may not. I mentioned it might, but there we go. So, we're charging uh, Type C to Type C here, charging to this flashlight. This flashlight does not have an output on Type C, so I don't have to worry about that. And then we can uh, see if we can turn the light on. Here we go, power bank feature started automatically. And then of course we can see if we can turn on the light. Yeah, we can. And let's see if we got all the modes. Yeah, I forgot to mention, when you're charging this, um, that uh, 18 watts in, you you're available, uh, all the modes are available. The white mode and the red mode and all of them. So that's nice uh, to see. And of course you can cycle this while this is charging, so. Not bad. Rocking. Okay, so that's cool. And of course I have a radio because I'm a radio dude. Now this has RFI on it, uh, so I wouldn't be using it close to radios. Just what it is. Um, so you'll probably just be using it to set up your tent, uh, reading. But if you're using a radio, just keep it quite a bit distance away because it does have a moderate to a heavy RFI when it's close by. But here is a XHDataD 109 and I'm going to plug it in to show you this thing that charges both devices and then we'll do a desktop demo and then we'll be done here so there you go so now we're charging the flashlight and we're charging our radio
See the icon flashing, and then of course the elapsed time and the charge little indicator. So you know, and then plus you can use a light. Absolutely amazing. Very impressed by that. Now it does not support through charging if you're wondering, um, but it will su support these two devices at once. Uh, power delivered on this power bank was uh, 9,078 milliamp hours or 46.29 watt hours. That's pretty efficient because the internal capacity is 50 watt hours. I was using a draw of about five volts at one amp. Uh, that was better than most 15,000 milliamp hour power banks I've tested. This is rated at 13,500. That means there's three 21700s rated at 4,500 milliamp hour each. If you do the math times three, that gives you 13,500. So I'm pretty impressed with the batteries they used because I'm glad they use cylindrical cells. Again, um, fan of these. And of course, longevity is going to be great and probably serviceability. There are four of those hex screws in the back. You might be able to go in, if you're an expert at building your own battery packs, you might be able to switch out and make your own battery pack if it goes dead and you want to keep it alive. So something to think about. But yeah, it does so much. It's great. So for emergency power source, for camping, for work, you know, work light in the auto, fantastic. And being water resistant, uh, along with being built like a tank. This thing's great. So we're going to turn the lights off, uh, do a little color demo with this, and then we'll do final thoughts. So let me just go ahead and slide these items off to the back side. All right, there we go. All right. Okay, so we're going to bring in Iron Man. We're just going to turn this on. Let's see. We'll turn it on. Double click. Let's go uh, up a temp. Yeah, we'll go 35. Uh, we'll go 45. There we go. That's what I was using in the garage right there. All right, so we'll turn this light off. Yeah, it looks good. All right, in person. So this is on low. Now I'm going to lift it up about, I don't know, I'd say about four feet off the table. I'll just cycle the colors. And we're on, oh, we should, we're actually on 300 lumens. So we're in the medium mode. So let's just squeeze 300. And then we'll just cycle the colors. See if the camera can pick them up. Yeah, it's doing it. Let's go really quick so you can see the color change. There you go. So you're getting the different ones there. So yeah, 2700, 3500, 4500, 6500. There you go. It's really blue. Nice. This warm looks really good, person. Okay, and then aim at the ceiling, uh, leaving on the white, and then we'll go with color intensity, brightness, this turbo. 1500 lumens lights the place up pretty nice. It goes to off. And then we'll t turn it red on. So let's go ahead and there we go. Aim that down. So yeah, here we go. Top down. This is how you usually use it. Uh, this is the best way to use it. I mean, you could do this directional uh, lighting, but uh, yeah, like if you're cooking something, that would not be bad. And you could see your uh, what you're cooking at the table just by adjusting the base there. So there you go. There's the red. He's in red. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty awesome. It's reflecting off the ceiling. Yeah, night vision. Beautiful thing. All right, let's go ahead and uh, turn that off. So we just get the... Hey, it's, you can feel them even in the dark. It's kind of nice. So we'll just uh, single click that. There's our flasher. And then we'll turn that off. And then we'll turn the main light on. Put it on like a 4500. And we'll go to low. Perfect. All right, let's turn the lights back on. Do final thoughts on the WL3. Cool. So like I said, it's available with this green color. I got the green here. Let's go ahead and cycle that off. There you go. Just showing you the back again. Pretty awesome. Uh, and then they have the khaki, which is like a, uh, a light brown, which looks really nice. Um, so overall, um, it's a premium lantern. Uh, when you're looking at the price tag of 55 bucks after 10% off and free shipping, um, you, have to, you have to ask yourself, is it worth it? Because there's a lot of these uh, inexpensive jobbers you know, out there for like 20, 25 bucks, but they're cheap. I mean, I'll be honest with you, this thing, um, yeah, it, it's cool. It's got a little power bank and stuff. Um, I forgot to turn it on. Press and hold. Yeah. Um, it's got its own colors that you can change. Uh, but this, the capacity is weak um, with only, you know, two 18650s in there, 5,200 milliamp hours. I mean, it'll get you by, but it won't, you know, 
as nice as this. It doesn't have the magnet base. It doesn't have the built-in carabiner. I really like that. This just has a swivel. This does have the tripod mount along with this. If I told you that does have the quarter inch tripod mount uh, right between the magnets there. Um, yeah, so if you're looking, there, there's some competition, but to be honest with you, nothing is built like this. This thing is, it's, it's just built like a tank. Um, when I'm holding it, it's hefty. It feels like you could take a drop. I mean, they give it a one meter of drop resistance. This here, probably not. <laughs> I wouldn't drop this one, but uh, yeah, uh, definitely a worthy upgrade if you have something like this. Definitely. Uh, the fact that it can output that power bank and charge two devices at once uh, is a big bonus for me. Plus it has emergency lighting, um, all about it. it. It's just an amazing light to have around the house uh, for work light, uh, emergency light, uh, home, office, camping, hiking, whatever you want to do with it, it'll be there for you. Now, a cool thing is you could pair this with like a solar panel. Like I, I if you recently look at my videos, I looked at, I did a uh, solar panel review, the Iron Snow. I think it's the IR14W. It's like 30 bucks. I'll uh, pair it with this. Just put it with this. And you can solar charge it during the day uh, if you're, you know, off the grid and uh, have it charged up ready for the evening. So some ideas to think about. Cool. So there it is. It's a, uh, it gets a maybe recommendation. The reason why I say maybe is because there's so many of these inexpensive ones out there. You may find yourself not wanting to spend the 55 bucks. You might want to spend just 20, 25. Uh, and I hear you. It's not bad. But uh, if you want better, you, you go with this one. <laughs> So there you go. Uh, the Claris WL3. Awesome light. Uh, definitely give me a big like if you like the video presentation. I try to do the best I can to show you these products. Uh, two, if you like Claris, you like flashlights, lanterns. They're really cool company. They're innovative. They really come out with some neat designs. Uh, definitely subscribe at the bell icon. I try to collect them. I get what I, you know, the different models as they come out. So you'll be one of the first to see these here. So awesome. And of course, three, comment below what you think about the WL3. Is it something you'd have in your house? Uh, a collection, um, ready to go in a bug out bag, um, ready to go on a camping trip, hiking. Uh, it's a little too heavy for hiking for some of you. Let me know because you yeah, have 481 grams. It's pretty chunky, uh, but it does all your charging needs though, which is nice. I mean, it'll charge your flashlights. It'll charge uh, your phone if you're using a phone out there or a radio um, or a two-way. So yeah, it's just, it's a nice thing to have. And especially you can hook up your solar power to it and charge directly with the solar panel. That's a neat setup as well. So there you go. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in my next video.